their students, their colleagues of the academic community. Violence against women and girls remain one of the most prevalent and pervasive human rights violations in the world. Globally, an estimated more than 7 million women, almost one in three, have been subjected to physical and or sexual intimate partner violence, non-partner sexual violence or both, at least once in their life. This code has intensified in different settings, including the workplace and online spaces, and has been exacerbated by post-pandemic effects, conflicts, and climate change. The solution lies in robust responses, including investment in prevention. However, alarmingly, data on how much nations are committing to counteract violence against women and girls remains glaringly sparse. Violence against women continues to be an obstacle to achieving equality, development, peace, as well as to the fulfillment of women and girls' human rights. All in all, the promise of the Sustainable Development Goals to leave no one behind cannot be fulfilled without putting an end to violence against women and girls. The University Guarantee Committee is tirelessly working to support initiatives like today's and those we will continue to promote in the coming months, where listening and dialogue become shared experiences in promoting values of equality and inclusion. The university, on its part, has developed a detailed program document, the Gender Equality Plan, outlining the steps to achieve a genuine balance with the within the dynamics defining life within the ideal boundaries of our university. However, we are not a closed community. We rightly define ourselves as an open campus and look at the world through the eyes of you, young women and young men. Your hopes and dreams are also ours. But achieving oneself as human beings, as citizens or as professionals, does not carry the same flavor if it occurs in a society that is not fair one that does not guarantee each and everyone in the right of self-determination the right to pursue their ambitions. A society where, too often, even the right of life is too easily threatened, as we are experiencing in these sad days. We dedicate a minute of noise to Julia, hoping that at least one note of our fame will come to be her comfort. Thank you to all of you.